Today we are going to talk about repeater widgets. Why? Because tables are boring and repeater widgets are cool. Don't believe me? Watch the demo. All right, so let's see how we can build repeater widget in CRM analytics. I've already logged in to my sandbox org uh, and I've clicked on create dashboard. So I'm going to click on create blank dashboard and we're going to have some fun with it. We're not just going to explore repeater widget. I want to actually create a dashboard. So uh, first things first, I'm going to drag and drop this container here. All right, uh, I'm going to drag one more container. And what we are going to do is, is this container, the one on my on, on the right side of the screen, this is where we're going to place repeater widgets. This is a good section for summaries, filters, and so on. If we need that, uh, we'll not add filters. We'll maybe add a couple of KPIs. So, so let's do that. Uh, before we do that, let's actually give it a color. So widget style background color let's make let's give it a dark color all right now i'm going to click on create queries i love the opportunities data set uh let's do sum of amount very simple query sum of amount done uh let's do one more use the same thing let's call it total ops We already have this, so I'm going to click on done. Now I'm going to add a text box here. Call it total of the value. Give it a white color because we have a dark background. Done. Make it old and then we'll give it the same background color awesome now I'm going to drag and drop this number here and the first thing that I need is the sum of amount so I'm just going to drag and drop it here I don't need the title because we already have the title here I'm going to shorten the number and then the widget style is going to be this and we are going to make this white all right so let's do this again so drag and drop text here total count of opties bold white and then we are going to go to widget style done I'm going to drag and drop a number here uh, total opti is here remove the count of rows shorten number text style white and widget style is going to be dark blue all right so I have the the values here let's quickly do a preview so this is how it looks like so far all right now i'm going to also add a bar chart so go here sum of amount and i want it by let's do account type account type arrange the amounts in descending order click on done and drag and drop it here so first thing is I need this in let's do this okay so that it, it recognizes that it's a dark theme widget style we know the background color is going to be this uh, now let's clean up the y-axis so we don't need the axis we just need the title uh, same with x-axis we don't need the axis actually Let's keep the axis. Let's remove the title. Um, 
yeah this looks better I don't need the legend so I'm going to remove the legend and let's make this slightly longer all right now when I look at this I get this I'm going to also add a title uh, let's say amount by account type 16 let's do 18 I guess all right nice so this is how a dashboard is shaping up now now let's add repeater which is I want to see my top five sales reps here so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text box here say my top five performers um, like this 20 pulled okay now I want to build a query so I'm going to do that and what I can do now is I want sum of amount and I want it by the opportunity owner so I've built my query sum of amount let's do it in descending order I only want top five so I'm going to add a limit of five reps here and then I'm going to click on let's give it a query top five performers all right so now I'm going to drag and drop this repeater widget just going to make this slightly bigger okay now I'm going to drag and drop this here now as you can see when I drag and drop this this gets activated now when it gets activated to your left you'll see a few things here so I can drag and drop an image here if I want to uh, I can I have access to creating a chart within this repeater widget I have a number widget and I have a text widget so my top five performers the query just includes the name of the opportunity owner and it includes uh, the the amount so I'm going to drag and drop this here and you'll see what I'm planning to do here so let's make this wider let me click on this I'm going to remove add text because what I want to display here is the name of the opportunity owner so click on done let's give it 18 okay so this is done now I can do the same thing here for the opportunity amount so when I do this I, let's make it I can remove this oops okay shorten number okay 18 center awesome okay so I can click on done now and there you go this is my repeater widget okay apologies for that now the other option that I have with this is I can click on this repeater widget uh, I can click on this repeater widget and I can say the content layout right now it's only displaying one item per row but I can actually say I want let's say two items per row so now I can see Sujay Cindy uh, Billy Wendy and, and Casey if I hit a hit preview this also works as a filter so when I click on Cindy the values changed it's it's giving me the opportunity uh, value for Cindy which is 4.2 million she has 49 opportunities and this is the sum of opportunities by account type same with Billy if I click on Billy again this will also apply as a filter now the other thing that I can do is I can click on this repeater widget click on edit repeater content and I can display this as a chart if I wanted to right so let me remove this and hit done and there you go I can I can see chart I can see uh, the name the chart and so on okay let's hit preview if I select any name this will work as filters if you like this video please hit subscribe share this video with your friends and colleagues and I will see you 
next week.